Special thanks to Patreon supporter Ghost of Shishima for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tool here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare Aircraft tutorial. This tutorial here is going to be an add-on tutorial. What that means is that this tutorial will be requiring a previous tutorial to go ahead and modify into this tutorial here. The aircraft you'll need to go ahead and modify this is my C-130J tutorial. There will be a link down in the video description. You'll be using that tutorial to go ahead and make the C-130J and from there we'll be going ahead and doing modifications to that model to make it into the AC-130J Ghost Rider that you see currently in front of you. So please refer to that video before we go ahead and continue on with the tutorial. With that though, let's go ahead and continue on to the video. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tool here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare aircraft tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Lockheed AC-130J. The Lockheed AC-130 gunship is a heavily armed, long endurance, ground attack variant of the C-130 Hercules transport fixed wing aircraft. It carries a wide array of ground attack weapons that are integrated with sophisticated sensors, navigation, and fire control systems. Unlike other modern military fixed wing aircraft, the AC-130 relies on visual targeting. Because its large profile and low operating altitudes of approximately 7,000 feet or 2,100 meters, it makes it an easy target. Its close air support missions are usually flown at night. Uh, the version we have in front of us here is the AC-130J Ghost Rider, and at the time of this video is one of the current uh, variants that's still in service. It is based on the MC-130J. 32 aircraft were to be procured as of 2014 to replace the AC-130H. As of 2018, the first AC-130J Ghost Rider Squadron, the 73rd Special Operations Squadron, is operating from uh, Herbert Field, Florida. Um, so yeah, the AC-130J, some of the notable changes you're going to see from this aircraft compared to the other ones is the kept the 105mm gun. It's um, the same one that's been used on other um, AC-130 variants, but it got rid of the uh, Gatling gun and instead, and also the Bofors, instead replaced it with an auto cannon of a uh, 30mm caliber. So, um, a very interesting changes. Uh, some would might say like a downgrade in terms of its um, weaponry, but at the same time, I think that makes sense. There's a lot more uh, this aircraft does actually have to make it a lot more uh, a lot more devastating than previous versions. So, along with the standard gun complement, the AC-130. J brings some more weapons that are kind of pack a punchy. Um, they have a gunslinger weapon system with launch tubes for the AGM-176 Griffin missiles and or the JBU-44B Viper strike munitions. It also has wing-mounted Hellfire missiles um, or GBU-39 small diameter bombs and or the GBU-53-B SBD uh, twos per hard point. Um, so yeah, this thing has ATGMs, bombs now, missiles, this thing is insane. Um, it's a huge upgrade, I would say, in terms of that, making it definitely more of a modernized type aircraft, and uh, just overall is absolutely gorgeous. Before we go ahead and jump into basically this tutorial, um, I do want to go ahead and give a special thanks to this video's Patreon, and that is going to be Ghosts of Tsushima. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link as always in my video descriptions where you can go pledge a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so earn a video card quest you're choosing. It really helps support the work I do on my channel and is really greatly appreciated, so definitely feel free to check that out. Again, links will always be in the video descriptions. With that though, let's go ahead and take a look at the AC-130J and see exactly what we're going to be going ahead and building. So, obviously, um, this is... Uh, aircraft here is going to look like this in the final version. You can see we have our hard points on the wings, which are one of the main get or, you know, giveaways that this is the uh, the modern AC-130s. Um, you can see, obviously, the ATGM uh, missile rack there on the side there, and we also have um, another missile um, bay on this side. So you have two different options. You can put, obviously, different ones on both sides or the same one on both sides. Really, whatever you want to do, um, those are available for you. Also in the back here, we do have the ramp that does sit lowered, and uh, this is actually a feature with the aircraft, so you will want the ramp to actually sit at a, uh, uh, sit downwards, or at this, like, level like so, and basically it's half open. Um, you can see we have this uh, missile system here, this is what I was mentioning earlier, the gunslinger weapon system that can launch uh, missiles and uh, Viper Strike uh, munitions, so 
uh, pretty interesting design there. We have obviously the 105 millimeter gun mounted on the, on the back here, usual place for the AC-130 AC family. Overall, really nice uh, design for it. You can see we do have a little bit of a gray undertone, so the under kind of, of the wings and also the belly here has this uh, lighter stone color, um, which is very apparent with the AC-130Js. We also went ahead and put the logo on the side here, which is supposed to be the 73rd uh, Special Operations um, logo, which is a like Grim Reaper kind of shooting flames from its um, fingers. Kind of a cool design, pretty cool logo. And uh, went ahead and strapped that on the side of the aircraft to make it a little more special in that kind of sense. And obviously, uh, that's pretty much the main uh, aircraft. There's obviously little changes here and there, uh, which we'll get to into it. Uh, or get into it once we get to that point, but for the most part, it's pretty much your AC-130J, which is a few simple modifications. Uh, with that though, um, if you guys are good to go and you have your AC-130J all set up and good to go, we'll go ahead and move into the tutorial and start moving into the things and making the transition into um, from, a, from a C-130J to an AC-130J. Alright guys, so as you can see right here, we have our AC-130J model laid out in front of us. Now, uh, you can obviously do a landed or in-flight version. Either one is going to be perfectly okay. Um, they both will be modified into the same way. One thing I do want to mention though, is that you, if you do have your, C, your uh, C-130J set up, I would recommend making sure that the ramp is closed. We will be going ahead and modifying this with the ramp closed. It's a little bit easier. Um, so I would recommend that you have the ramp completely closed on the back there, not extended, and basically ready to go. So it's pretty simple to make that transition to it. You basically just want something like this on the back here. It's kind of that flat, simple pattern that goes all the way up. So anyways, with that all cleared out of the way, um, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and set up our undertones. And for this, it's gonna be very simple. Uh, we wanna go ahead and start off at this basically point right here. We're gonna go ahead and replace these stone slabs here. And we're gonna kind of work our way back from this. Now, the way this is gonna work is we're just gonna kind of work our way back and what's odd about this is it does have this wavy type system or design to it. So once we get kind of from the below the fuselage here and where the line breaks, where it meets the hard gray and the light gray, it's kind of a wavy pattern. So the way we did this is kind of interesting, I think. We went ahead and kind of just mixed in blocks. So we have a little bit of dark gray here. Then we transition to stone. Then we have a few stone blocks. Then we go ahead and go back to our dark gray and we kind of alternate. Uh, we can see here just kind of splitting our spaces up, not really doing anything, you know, too different, I guess. Um, and we just kind of bring it into this section like that. So you can see we kind of create a little bit of a wavy pattern there with our stone. And then this whole bottom section, so this very bottom row on the bottom of the aircraft here, is going to be completely covered in stone. So you're just going to go and completely cover this whole section in down here. Again, completely stone. And I would also recommend replacing this row of stone also as you work your way up. So this right here, this row also will be completely replaced with stone where stone basically is applicable. So we'll probably go all the way up to here and like that and something like that. And obviously the same thing is going to continue to happen back here. Any dark oak with trapdoors, we will just go ahead and replace with iron trapdoors. And again all these slabs and everything so i'm going to go ahead and do this kind of speed this up here and let i'll come back to you guys here in a sec once we have this belly done and talk a little bit about the back side and what to kind of do for uh, that section there So as you can see, I went ahead and basically shaped our fuselage or changed our blocks out and we have basically this alternating pattern all on the bottom here. Now when it comes to the back, the back it's uh, a little bit different. So we can't really do the wavy pattern too much. So basically what we end up doing here is we went ahead and just kind of doing a full outline of stone that goes all the way to the tail. So what this is going to do is we're just going to go ahead and basically go to the side here and the stone block is going to be stone. We're going to have a slab here and this is going to be a stone stair slab stone block slab stair slab stone slab and then this right here is going to be a stone stair as well now basically in between these uh, basically blocks it's just going to be a row of stone or just kind of stone slabs whatever uh, basically creating that whole stone look on the bottom here so it's just going to basically be this all the way across the sides here 
and same thing for stone here as well it's just gonna go all the way across so that's basically what this is gonna do here and this is gonna kind of work its way all the way across the both sides to go ahead and create this uh, back here of the, of the aircraft and you're just gonna go ahead and do this and again this is something that I can speed up here um, and I'll see you guys here shortly And as you can see here, I have the whole bottom completely covered in stone for the time being. And um, that right there will pretty much cover the ramp for right now. What we're going to do next is we're going to be going ahead and going up to this section here. And we're going to go ahead and basically do the bottom here of our horizontal stabilizers. So again, this right here is going to be covered all in stone. And we're just going to be replacing all these slabs, um, all these trap doors with stone materials. Now we aren't going to replace these this upside down stair or this wall right here. And we're going to try to avoid doing as much to the bottom there as we can. And the way we're going to kind of do this is we're going to go ahead and prioritize using iron trap doors on the bottom here to kind of help keep that consistent gray color a little bit better. However, we do have blocks that are visible. Um, so these blocks right here from the side. So we will replace these blocks with stone blocks. But the rest of these we can go ahead and cover up with iron trap doors on the bottom there. On the back here also on these slabs, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing here. Just place down iron trap doors on those just like so. Now we also want to go ahead and replace these top slabs here in the front with obviously stone and these gray carpets will also be um, put on top here again so make sure you transition those and put the gray carpet on top. Also this stone block right here I would recommend swapping out as well. Then on the bottom here again we're going to go ahead and replace all these top slabs like so all the way out to the side here and this here is just going to go all the way out so we're just going to go ahead and basically replace all these top slabs with stone until it's filled in completely here like so and we will have these slabs here we're going to leave those slabs alone uh, the dark oak trap doors will remain and then we'll just go and take our gray carpet and just cover up the rest of these stone top slabs with gray carpet so this will all be covered up like so and that basically right there is what our horizontal stabilizer is going to look like. We're going to do the same thing to the air side. Um, obviously these stone slabs here and this upside down stair will also be swapped out to those newer blocks. So just go and make those necessary changes where needed. And um, that right there is basically what you want. You're going to take the same thing and copy it over to the air side. The next part we're going to cover is the vertical stabilizer. Now the vertical stabilizer doesn't need too much modification to work. But basically what we're going to do here is we're going to replace this tail flash here. It's just going to be a solid gray line that's going to go all the way across here. Uh, this polished black stone row right here will go ahead and continue as well. And this gray replace this concrete and this polished black stone wall switch to polished black stone. So basically it's just going to look a little more solid. We're going to go ahead and delete the tail number on the aircraft on both sides. And we're also going to go ahead and delete the TNT and blue concrete there for the American flag. So basically we have a just plain uh, tail like so. We're going to go ahead and take end rods. We're going to place down an end rod coming off this second from top gray concrete block. And we're also going to place down two end rods on the middle two uh, gray concrete blocks like that coming off it toward the back there like so. At this point, you will then have the option to go ahead and do banners. Now using banners, we have USAF written in light gray with dark gray banners. Um, and then you can see we have a tail number here put on the aircraft. Now I'm not going to go ahead and cover in detail how to do these numbers or these uh, lettered banners in this tutorial. However, I will uh, recommend that you go ahead and view a alternative tutorial that shows you guys how to make letter and number banners if you are unsure how to make them. Um, there are plenty of tutorials out there that will be able to cover that for you guys, but this tutorial here will not include them. So when it comes to doing the lettering on the side of the aircraft, you can see here we're just going to do our USAF right on the side there of the aircraft positioned on that section there and we're going to go ahead and start at this point here and build it forward like that. So basically you're going to have the same thing there on both sides. Make sure it reads left to right. So USAF and then left to right obviously. And then we have 45789 which I believe is actually a real uh, AC-130 that's actually in service. So you can go and do that, copy that tail number or do your own tail number. It doesn't really matter. And for this it's going to be positioned like this on the side here. Same uh, lettering and all that stuff. and that is pretty much about it. It's going to be the same thing on both sides. Actually, you do want to move this over to this polished blackstone 
uh, brick right there and you're just going to shift this all over one. So basically your nine right there, your number should be in line with that F there. Um, on this uh, right side and then over on the air side, the four will be in line with the U. So uh, yeah, pretty straightforward stuff. That's how you do those numbers and uh, that letter on the tail and let's go ahead and continue on. Our next section here is going to involve basically going ahead and doing the camouflage that we did on the bottom of the air fuselage just right up on the wing here. So we're just be going ahead and replacing these blocks, any stairs, um, full blocks, anything like that we have here on the bottom to go ahead and create a nice consistent um, color basically of our stone the bottom here. So we're going to replace all these stone full blocks like this as you can see and we're just going to go ahead and kind of continue this all the way uh, throughout the uh, throughout the bottom of the aircraft here. We'll replace these stone stairs here, this top slab, just make sure you get that little block there hidden away. And we're just gonna go ahead and replace this all here, all these full blocks. Now one thing I do wanna mention is that once we get to this engine over here on the side, uh, we do have those nether brick top slabs and those black concrete blocks. We do not wanna replace those. Those are part of the prop wash, uh, which is basically black painted onto the aircraft to kinda help hide the dirtiness that does come from those props so we don't want to interfere with those any at all we're going to go ahead and leave those completely alone and we'll just continue to move on from there and again we're just going to go ahead and go back into replacing these stone top slabs everything like that one thing that i do want to uh make no notion of is that that pylon there for that uh basically i guess extra external fuel tank we do not want to go ahead and replace uh the blocks for the pylon we're going to leave those as polished blackstone in our, in our darker gray color um, but the rest of it obviously is going to be replaced all around here uh do take note that those uh don't forget those blocks right there obviously um very important you don't want to leave those open alone and also we can change out these stone blocks above those gray stained glass panes there um though i think that we actually do want this one uh, glass paint have the black under there. So just go ahead and make sure that that's like that on both sides. And as we continue to work our way out to the side here, we're gonna go ahead and again, leave those dark oak trapdoors alone right there. Just do our prop wash design and uh, all these blocks here will be filled in. So we're gonna use iron trapdoors on the bottom here since those are full blocks and they will be visible from the top of the wing. We're gonna go ahead and use iron trapdoors just to kind of help keep them hidden a little bit better or keep that consistency a little bit better there for the uh, aircraft on the bottom of the wings here. And uh, obviously also these blocks, these stone blocks that we have um, coming up here on the lean edge, we do need to fill those in because they do show that gray. So we're just going to take our stone full blocks and just kind of fill this in here as well as these stairs here. Make sure your trap doors or whatever, if they do get all funky, then you fix those. And this right here will be replaced with stone uh, top slabs. And then we'll replace these gray concrete blocks all the way around here like so and uh we don't want to replace that one just due to the fact that that one would uh you know obviously show kind of weird there on the wing so we're gonna leave that one alone and all these stone top steps here will be replaced all the way to the outside of the wing so on the bottom here all these top steps that we have are just going to be replaced in completely so just like this to go ahead and create the bottom here of the wing like so so if that all filled in, uh, we then want to go and take our iron trapdoors and we're going to go ahead and replace all of these trapdoors here. And I do believe actually these iron trapdoors are going to go ahead and just go all the way out to the side here. And they do. So we're just going to go ahead and replace this all the way to the sides there of the aircraft and just fill in this row, whole row in completely like that on the bottom, like so. Same thing over here. And just like that. And you have the whole bottom completely filled in there for the bottom of the wing. And really with that, uh, at this point, you're pretty much good to go with the wing. You're going to take that same design and copy it over the air side. And uh, just, you know, make sure you keep that black there and you'll pretty much be good to go. So take that design, flip it over to the other side. And also, don't forget that spot right there. Uh, place those two iron trapdoors and spring them all the way to the side. But yeah, with that, copy that uh, wing over to the other side. And make sure that all this gray uh, or any of the stone that is exposed with the top slabs or anything like that is covered with the gray carpet. Very important. Obviously, you don't want that weird color contrast there on the top there. So, yeah, just make sure that's all filled in. And once you have that done, that's pretty much going to conclude uh, the wing there. And we'll go ahead and continue on. 
One thing I would like to mention is that on the bottom of this uh, fuel pod here we have, we actually want to go ahead and do the bottom half here with stone, so we're going to use our same techniques. Uh, replace our polished blackstone walls with andesite walls, um, gray concrete blocks with stone. Uh, these stairs will be replaced with stone and those wither skeleton skulls with uh, just regular skeleton skulls. And really that's all you're going to do here, you're just going to go ahead and basically fill this, uh, or do the bottom half here of this, um, of this kind of like external fuel tank and once you have that all complete and transferred over, uh, you'll obviously take that over to the air, side, the air wing as well and you'll have basically both wings complete. So uh, that right there is pretty much it for that and really the last thing on the wings that we really need to touch on um, before uh, we can go and start moving into some, some of the fun stuff which is going to be adding in all the armaments and stuff like that to, uh, to the wings. So that right there is it for those fuel pods, take you to the air side and you'll be pretty much good to go with that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set up our weapon pylons that are mounted on the wings here. Now to do this, we're going to go ahead and go to our iron tra trap doors. We're going to go ahead and count six over. We're going to go ahead and go to our six iron trap door. We're going to go ahead and break this uh, trap door and the three top slabs back from it. We're going to go ahead and then place down our polished blackstone walls. One, two, three. And then a polished blackstone stair like that for uh, this pylon, which we'll be going ahead and mounting our kind of external weapon systems. Uh, to the wings and the same thing's going to happen over here our six iron trap door to the side and we're going to go and then break the blocks like that and then replace these like so and place our stair like that so just like that and that will be basically those weapon pylons which will be on both sides now at this point we're going to then go from the edge of the wing we're going to count in to our row fourth iron trap door so one two three four we're going to go to the one behind it we're going to place down an end rod that drops down from it now, if you're on Java, we can go and do a feature here where we're going to go ahead and place down a block that comes down from that iron trap door. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a lever on this side of the block. Now, using a debug stick, which you can get using the command slash give at p minecraft debug stick, we're going to go ahead and then select the lever here. And using right click, we can go ahead and change the properties. So we're going to go ahead and select face wall and we're going to go ahead and set this to ceiling so it connects up to that end rod there. Then we're going to delete that uh, gray concrete block and I mean also you can rotate this also so for me it just works um, obviously you can rotate it there if you need to as well but we're just going to place down an end rod coming off that lever like so. Now if you do want to build this on bedrock or pocket edition we're going to go ahead and basically do the same thing. So basically just count to our fourth row one two three four go the second iron trap door back replace this with a end rod. And we're going to go ahead and very simply then place down a birchwood fence gate, which is going to come off this end rod like so. Open it toward the back, and then an end rod that comes off it. So that's a good alternative there if you are on uh, pocket edition or bedrock um, to basically the little glitched out uh, lever like so. At this point, we're going to go ahead and now moving into our weapon system. So I'll show you guys the two different systems that I have created and uh, let you guys uh, pick and choose and we'll put those on. So moving into our first weapon system, this is going to be the ATGMs, or basically Hellfire missiles that will be uh, mounted onto this first pylon. Now again, as I mentioned, you can go ahead and put this on both sides. You can see we have two different designs here that you can go and use. Uh, so feel free to go crazy and pick and choose whatever you want. You can do these ATGMs on both sides, or you can do it on one side and, you know, do the design I have, whatever you want. Um, that's definitely up there for, you know, you to pick and choose and kind of explore and you know really just do what you want so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to go ahead and go to this pile on here we're going to go ahead and start off and place down a lever on the bottom of this stair and flick it toward the back we're going to go ahead and then place down two fence gates for temporary and we're just going to go ahead and build down these from these fence gates if i can you know actually place down the fence gate there we go and this is going to be a fence gate coming off this one as well we're going to delete those two fence gates there in the middle and we're going to go ahead and place down anvils in their place these fence gates on the bottom of the anvils will be opened up for one toward the front and one toward the back so they're opposite from each other. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves um, our slabs here. So starting with birchwood, we're going to place down a birchwood slab, top slab next to that lever, and then a wither skeleton skull coming off of it. Underneath that birchwood slab, we're going to place down another slab like so, and a skeleton skull coming off that one, a slab coming off the side here, birchwood, wither skeleton skull, and same thing like that on both sides there. Now for each side, now we're going to go ahead and go back from those birchwood top slabs with a dark oak wood fence post and we're going to then follow it up with a birchwood fence gate um, so sorry dark oak wood fence gate and birchwood fence gate and the same thing will be done over here on this side like so after that uh, we want to go then place down a birchwood top slab or sorry polished blackstone top slab coming off those uh, birchwood fence gates there birchwood signs on the sides of the 
top slabs there for all four and dark liquid science on the sides of uh, all four of those polished blackstone top slabs. At this point here, we can go and then grab ourselves an item frame and also a black concrete block. We're going to go ahead and place down an item frame that will be coming off the side there of the slabs facing toward the back. Um, so just like this. And then black concrete in those item frames. And if you're on Java, we can go and do the extra feature of placing a dark oak sign on the side there of those slabs as well. So again, that's a Java only feature. And if you're on Bedrock or Park Condition, just disregard that and go for uh, placing down just the uh, item frames. Yeah, but that right there is going to complete the uh, ATGMs. And uh, with that, we'll be moving into our other missile system located on the other wing. So this next system here is going to be the GBU-53s um, on the BRU-61-A rack. To begin with, we're going to place down a stone block on the bottom of this polished black stone stair, followed by two stone blocks going forward. We then want to go ahead and place down a stone slab, followed by a daylight detector, which will be turned to the night mode. We're going to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull on both sides of this slab, and then two light gray stainless panes back on the sides here, and then an anti-side wall like that on the third stone block. We're gonna go then go back uh, an additional one, two, three, and four stone blocks. We're gonna place down one and two anti-side walls back from the previous one, and over here, same thing, one and two, and then two light gray stainless panes after that, like that. Once we have that all complete, we're gonna go ahead and now uh, grab a redstone repeater. And we're going to place down a redstone repeater on top of this stone block here and separate the notches apart from each other like so. Now at this point we're going to go ahead and now pretty much move it into the missiles. We're going to place down a quartz top slab on the bottom of that skeleton skull. Make sure it's smooth quartz and then a birchwood top slab going forward to the skeleton skull like that. We're going to go then place down a birchwood top slab there. Or sorry, quartz top slab. And then we're going to go and grab ourselves a smooth quartz upside down stair and we're going to place down that going back from that slab like so. So just like this going back. And we're going to go then take our birchwood signs and place them on the sides of those two quartz stop slabs, that birchwood top slab, and this stair right here. Same thing will be done on the other side here. We're just going to go ahead and replicate the same thing pretty quick. And just like that. And then for our next missiles, we're going to go skip a space back, place down our birchwood slab, and in that space we're going to place down the skeleton skull. So just like that, and again do the same thing here. For your missiles, going back to the two quartz top slabs, up down stairs, and then the details there with the signs and all that. And once we have that all done, uh, we can go ahead and then grab ourselves item frames. And again, for that extra detail, we'll grab an item frame and a black concrete block and if I can find it there we go and we can place down item frames on the black those black concrete blocks as well as an item frame on those ones as well um, like that so if you're on Java you can go and do those and then for the back ones here we can also place down birchwood science again if you're um, on Java and with that uh, that's pretty much gonna wrap up those uh, missiles there and that will cover both of our loadouts there for our uh, pylons and that will pretty much wrap that up for this section anyways uh, that's going to complete those loadouts for the wings and let's go ahead and continue on with our uh, tutorial so our next section here is going to be focusing in on the fuselage we're going to be going ahead and starting off by going ahead and going to the bottom nose here we're going to replace this gray concrete block uh, right before that stone slab there where we start the underbelly we're going to uh, replace it with a uh, light gray shortcut box that kind of comes down next to that stone slab like so and up above this, in this space right here, we want to go ahead and uh, very simply fill in the gaps. So we're just going to go and place down some gray concrete blocks in those. And then grabbing ourselves an anvil. We're going to place down an anvil here on top of that shulker box. So you should get something that looks like that there for the front of the aircraft. We're going to place down an item frame, a black bed rotated so the pillow is facing downwards, and a birchwood sign if you're on Java. As well as an item frame on the remaining two sides there of the shulker box with a polished anti block in those item frames. Like so, in a birchwood sign, also on the side there of those item frames again if you're on Java. And that right there will kind of complete that with a stone top slab on the bottom of that shortcut box. It'll complete that little optics box there located in the front of the nose of the aircraft. At this point, we're going to go ahead and start working our way back along the sides here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go delete these dark oak buttons along the left side. And we then want to go ahead and, after we get those buttons deleted, Go ahead and delete this black concrete block and replace this with a gray concrete block. 
We're going to go ahead and also uh, replace these um, windows here on the side of the aircraft. So these will be replaced with gray concrete, like so. And we will also get rid of those polished black, or those, sorry, those dark oakwood buttons that are around it, like so. Or that were around those windows. Just like that. And at this point here, we're going to then go to our little line here with another brick stairs and uh, black concrete. And we're just going to go ahead and replace that with stone. And the same thing will be done over um, on the other side. So over here as well, we're going to go ahead and replace that block there with a stone block. That stair with a stone stair, stone block, and a stone upside stair like so. We will also be going ahead and removing this black concrete block and replacing that with a gray concrete block like that. And these windows on the right side here are also going to be removed by, again, just replacing them with gray concrete blocks. And we'll be also removing those dark oak buttons that were around that one window, like so. And we will also replace these polished black stone buttons right there with um, basically nothing. So just go ahead and get rid of those. And basically that's what we should have there on the right side. The next thing we want to do is move to the top of the fuselage here right behind the cockpit. We're going to go ahead and go to this little patch right here. We're going to place the narrow brick slab stairs and black concrete around this section with stone full blocks. This right here is just going to kind of reinforce that uh, little uh, kind of outline around that um, hatch there on the top there of the roof of the aircraft. And at this point, uh, we can go ahead and then move to the side, and we're going to go ahead and actually make the logo. So we're going to go ahead and drop down from that stone slab there. We're going to place on an airbrick stair, polish, uh, die right stair, and then a narrow brick stair, followed by our orange glazed terracotta. On both sides of that terracotta, we're going to place on a black concrete block like that, a cage with signs on the narrow brick stairs and on the orange glazed terracotta block. And then again, dropping down from this, we're going to go to that polished black stone stair and replace that with an arabic stair and we have that logo there for the seven uh the third uh special uh basically operations unit so uh that right there will be the side there and that's like the little grim reaper shoot and fire that's kind of iconic for this aircraft all right guys so we're going ahead and moving into the guns now our first gun here is going to be that auto can 30 mil we're going to go to the second item frame with that white bed there on the side of the fuselage here on the left side we're going to drop down a light gray stingless pane going down from it on the side of that block. We're going to go ahead and replace that stair there with a gray concrete block and a gray stingless pane coming off of it. Then going down from this, another gray concrete block. And then this, uh, we're on the bottom of that, we're going to have a polished black stone top slab like so. And right there will basically make this little kind of shield that sits from the gun, I imagine probably for some sort of aerodynamic purposes. That right there is basically what we have for uh, that right there. And going ahead and now moving into our gun, we want to go ahead and very simply go to this section here. We're going to go ahead and go to our third stair over. We're going to go ahead and break the polished black stone stairs to both sides, place down narrow brick stairs in their place. And we then also want to go ahead and go behind these stairs and we're just going to place down a nether brick, or sorry, a or gray concrete block in those spaces there to kind of close those gaps off. And then going down from the narrow brick walls, or stairs, we're going to place down narrow brick walls, black concrete blocks here behind those walls. And in the center there, we're going to go ahead and break that a concrete block and we actually want to go ahead and go in the inside here and the best way to do this is to go ahead and take your black concrete we're going to place that black concrete block there um or sorry it's going to be a uh we're going to first place down this dragon head that comes off that uh block like so and then we want to go ahead and place down a black concrete block after the dragon head so it looked like that and obviously you'll just need to break away out of the aircraft and just pop up on the top here and you have uh, basically a design that looks like that right there Taking our end rods, we're going to place down four end rods coming off that dragon head. So one, two, three, four. And then a wither skeleton, or sorry, skeleton skull on the very end. We then want to go ahead and place down a nerve break ups down stair to both sides like this. And they will turn the corner stairs and behind, between those stairs we're going to place down a black concrete block. Now if you are on uh, Java, we can go ahead and use our debug stick. So using our command we'll give ourselves a stick and we can actually change the properties of the stairs so it remains as a normal nether brick stair. And this right here is perfect if uh, you do want to kind of keep a more um, actual realistic look to the aircraft. Something again kind of op completely optional, um, but if you're on Java you have that feature of also maybe being able to do that like that. Uh, but yeah, that right there is pretty much it for our 30mm gun position. Our next section is to be going ahead and move into this wheel pod section. We'll be going ahead and modifying this on the left side here uh, to kind of make room for a little bit of an opposite position that comes down. Now, what we want to do to kind of go ahead and get started with this area is we're going to go ahead and break these um, or those dark oak trap doors, the black concrete there, and that dark oak trap door right there as well. We then want to go ahead and uh, place down a polished black stone. Actually, my bad. We're going to place down a polished black stone wall there. And then we're going to swap out these two gray concrete blocks with two polished black stone upside down stairs there. 
We then want to go ahead and replace these two andesite walls here with stone full blocks. And we're going to then place down a uh, like ray stainless pane there in that corner space. Then taking our andesite walls, we're going to place down two andesite walls coming off those two stone blocks there. And that right there basically is all we need to do there, that little extension there on the um, sec that section of the aircraft. Now uh, at this point, we're going to go ahead and basically make our uh, little optics box here on the bottom. And we'll just go ahead and grab the same materials we'll need for this. So just our light gray shulker box, our item frames, and slabs and all that stuff. And very simply, we're just going to go ahead and go into this bottom section here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and replace that first iron trap door we have right there. And we're going to go ahead and place down a light gray shulker box upside down like that. Followed by a stone top sub on the bottom there. And we're going to go ahead and place down iron frames here. And it first one, black bed. Iron frame on this side, polished and inside block. And we then want to place down our birch wood signs that are going to go ahead and wrap around those two sides, like so, if you are on Java. And that right there is going to create that little optics box. We can't put anything on there, just do that iron trap door in the way. So we're just going to have to settle with what we have right there. We then have some windows add. Um, and for these windows, we're going to be taking our black stained glass. We're going to go ahead and replace this uh, third block back from those uh, gray wool blocks right there on the side there. We also want to place down a uh, black stained glass block there. And then it's going ahead and going three spaces back, one, two, and then our third from that stone block. We're going to replace that third block there with a uh, black stained glass block, just like that as well. All right, guys, so going ahead and continuing on, we're going to go ahead and now start working on kind of our more aft section here of the build. We're going to go ahead and go right above this polished black stone wall right there and place down a black stained glass block, skip a space, and an air black stained glass block like so. We're going to replace that glass pane right there with a polished black stone wall and then place down a uh, gray stained glass pane right there. Now going ahead and going to the top glass pane, or actually sorry, we're going to go ahead first replace these two polished black stone walls with two gray concrete blocks. So just like that. And then we're going to place down two by two square of black con or of gray concrete coming off that space like that next to those gray stained glass panes. So those glass panes should connect up like that and create that siding there. We're going to place down two blocks, polished black stone walls on the top there. And then going to the bottom here, we want to go ahead and place down two stone blocks replacing those two andesite walls. And also a... Uh, block that will replace that uh, glass pane there. Depending on your camouflage pattern, try to make sure you take that into account when you're building that. We're going to go ahead and then place down two, uh, or one polished black stone wall here, and then for us in our andesite wall, it'll basically be two walls on the bottom there. Again, trying to keep that camouflage pattern um, intact there. Uh, going to this section, we're going to go ahead and delete that narrow brick stair, replace that with a black concrete block, followed by a narrow brick stair like this, and a narrow brick stair like that, so very similar to what we did in the front there. We're going to delete that glass pane and that lever as and uh, in those positions we're going to place down a black concrete block on both sides. This middle section here we're going to break that block. Go ahead and go on the inside here. We're going to place down gray uh, concrete blocks on both sides like so. Behind those stairs to cover the, that gap. At this point we then want to go ahead and place down a narrow brick up down stair here. Black concrete behind it and a narrow brick up down stair on this side also. Uh, that's going to be a corner stair like that. We're going to go ahead and then take our debug stick and we're going to go ahead and uh, change the properties of this so it kind of sits um, straight on like that if you are on Java. Again, if you're on Pocket Edition or Bedrock, you can go ahead and just leave it as a corner stair. It's not really that big of a deal. And at this point, we'll go ahead and start moving into our gun. So for our gun to get started with here, we're going to go ahead and delete these dark oak buttons around this section here. And we also want to replace those two gray wool blocks there with gray concrete blocks. And... At this point here, we're also going to place down a black stained glass block where this narrow brick stair is. So we're going to go up from that black concrete block and kind of line it up straight on with that. So we have that little window that's located right there. And uh, at this point, we're going to go ahead and then grab our item frames. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four in this section here. We're going to place down gray, light gray beds in the um, item frames like that, and then a black bed in the top right hand corner. Dark oak with signs over them as an optional feature if you're on Java for a bit of uh, extra detail there. And moving into our next section of the build here, we're going to have the 105mm gun. We're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and placing down a uh, black concrete block right there in that space to fill that space in. We're going to go ahead and run, drop below this and we're going to be going ahead and placing down a piston. So this piston here is going to go ahead and go on the bottom. Not like that, uh, but like that instead. And coming off that, we're going to be going ahead and grab ourselves an air brick slab. And we'll place down an air brick slab coming off this uh, piston here and a air brick slab coming off that black concrete block. So you have top slab there, slab. We're going to go then place down an anvil. 
which will be followed up with a polished blackstone wall. And on both sides of this polished blackstone wall, we're going to place a wither skeleton skull, a dark oak trapdoor on the top and bottom of that wall, and we then want to place down one wall going forward from it. We're going to then place down a block of netherite, which will be after that wall, so like so, and then a polished blackstone wall, an item frame, and then a black concrete block in the item frame, like that, to go ahead and make the front here of the gun, dark oak with sign, and then we're going to go ahead and take our wither skeleton skulls, place them down on both sides here. And then a wither skeleton skull on the top there. So uh, that right there will basically conclude the 105 and everything you really need to do for it. Uh, we can go ahead and give ourselves a debug stick. And if you're on Java, again, we can go ahead and do a little piston glitch here, saying this extended to true. Um, on the side here, if you're on a Pocket Edition or Bedrock, you can go ahead and use an air brick stair instead of that. Now, at this point, uh, that's pretty much it for the uh, left side here. We do have a few things we're going to be touching on a little bit later. Uh, but that right there is pretty much it for our armaments and really the kind of uh, main differences there. On the right side, it's pretty much exactly the same So as, as it is um, currently on the aircraft. So we're not going to go ahead and touch anything. We're going to leave that door in there. We're going to leave basically everything structure-wise on the right side um, on the aircraft alone. And um, basically just uh, uh, basically the only thing really for us to do is to go ahead and change this logo, which will be going ahead and replacing that black with light gray. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the materials and show you guys how to do that. Alright guys, so go ahead and move it into these banners. Now these banners here are pretty simple to do. We're going to go into our loom. We're going to need three light gray banners, seven die of uh, gray, and a loom, obviously. Going into our loom, we're going to place down our first light gray banner. We're going to go ahead and do the line across the top there of gray. And we want to go ahead and do the line across the bottom and the line across the center like that to go ahead and make this striped looking banner. That's going to be our first banner complete. Both our other two light gray banners are going to go into the loom. We're going to go ahead and select the bottom left hand corner like so, and then the top left hand corner like that for um, that banner. And we're gonna do the complete opposite for the other one, so the top right hand corner and the top bottom left, bottom right hand corner to go ahead and create these two uh, banners, and that right there will basically create our three banners we'll need here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, basically go to the side here, we're gonna count back to our fourth polished box stone wall back from that gray concrete block, we're gonna place down our striped banner. These two banners, so the gray is facing toward each other and then their striped banner like that. We can then delete this uh, other logo right there. And uh, that right there will basically make that uh, logo on the side of the aircraft, like so. And as you can see, that light gray matches up our right lettering there on the top. Uh, so basically, instead of using black, we're kind of using the, the uh, light gray with stone uh, as a, basically that highlight color to make uh, distinguishing markings and stuff like that on the aircraft. Now, at this point, we're going to then uh, basically add on this little extension here, which is going to be up from that last item frame with the black or with the white bed. We're going to place down a wither skeleton skull, a gray shulker box, item frame, and a white stained glass pane and then there with our skeleton skull on the side of it. Going to the right side over here, we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to place down our banner right there on the fourth stair back, our two banners like so, and our striped banner. And we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing with our uh, wither skeleton skull, shulker box, item frame, and white stained glass pane to make that little, uh, you know, pop out right there on the side of the fuselage. And once we have that really all done, that is going to basically conclude uh, the fuselage really for the aircraft. We do actually have some work on the top here to do also, and this is going to be going ahead and replacing some of the stuff up on top here, adding some things and stuff like that, instruments and all that. We're going to start off by going ahead and uh, going back to our third polished blackstone stair in the gray concrete block right there. We're going to go ahead and place down a polished blackstone wall with a dark oak trap door on top of it, like so. We then uh, want to go ahead and go back from this. We're going to go ahead and delete those polished anisite slabs and skeleton skulls. We're going to go then go to the opposite side here, so the right side. We're going to go ahead and replace that polished black stone stair right there with a corner stair like that. We're going to count back one, two, three, four, five polished black stone stairs. And we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five gray concrete blocks. Uh, that stair on the end here is also going to be replaced with a polished black stone corner stair. We're going to go then go on top of the first uh, concrete blocks, place down daylight detectors, turn those to the night mode. And we're going to go then place down a row three of polished blackstone slabs. To the sides here, we're going to place down a D or a light gray stained glass pane. And then a row of three of polished blackstone walls. And another light gray stained glass pane right here coming out that last block. And it's going to create this little, uh, you know, pop out there um, on the spine of the aircraft. Continuing on, uh, we want to go ahead and begin with by going ahead and going to our fifth block back. Basically right after that... Um, or right where the stone button is actually. We're going to go ahead and replace that stone button with a acacia wood slab. We're going to then place down two item frame, or one item frame, with a gray concrete block in the item frame. We're going to go ahead and then uh, go from this 
Grab an N rod. We're gonna place down an N rod where that button is, and this button here is gonna be replaced with a item frame and a gray concrete block in the item frame. At this point, we're gonna go then delete this second iron trap door in that second wall. This wall right here is gonna be replaced with a polished blackstone wall, and then a dark oak trap door. Actually, my bad. Sorry, it's actually gonna be a iron trap door. So we are gonna keep the iron trap door on top, and. Uh, we also want to go ahead and place down a like racing was paint next to that slab on the right side here, on top of that stair, and then go back from it a polished blackstone wall. Now, after that, we want to go then go to the wing sections. So we're going to go right for this row of five dark oak with trap doors to both sides. Place down a polished blackstone wall and a uh, iron trap door on top of those walls. This section here, we're going to replace that stone brick wall with a dark oak with trap door. We're going to place this middle dark oak with trap door for a case with slab, and then after that trap door there, we're going to place down a polished black stone stair followed by a wither skeleton skull that will be coming off the stair like so so it kind of goes up at an angle like that and then an item frame with a gray concrete block in the item frame like that for the rear section and that right there basically we do it for all the instruments located there on the spine of the aircraft um, so quite a few little changes make sure that you are following along and capturing those all correctly up on the top of the aircraft uh, but yeah, that right there will do for our spine of the aircraft, and let's go ahead and continue on. Continuing on, we're going to be going ahead and uh, diving down to the bottom here of our fuselage, and we're going to be going ahead and making a little add-on down here. For this, we're going to count back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and our 6 stone stair back here, or whatever stair, we're going to go ahead and place down a pane, a glass pane on the bottom here of uh, light gray, and then an anisite wall right behind it. We're going to go ahead and go over the other side and do the same thing. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Drop it down from a six stair, a glass pane, and then a inside wall, just like that, to go and make those two little, um, two little things right there on the bottom. And that right there will basically complete the fuselage there for the aircraft. And really, from here on out, what's really meant for us to go ahead and move on to is going to be that loading ramp there on the back with the uh, missile system. All right, guys. So going ahead and moving into building this loading ramp, as I recommended in the beginning of the video, I do recommend keeping the ramp in the upward formation. But we're going to go ahead and begin with by going ahead and going to those three stone slabs. We're going to replace those with three stone full blocks. We're going to go ahead and place down a second row of three, followed by a third row, a fourth row, and then a fifth row back of stone, just like that. We then want to go ahead and extend this by two more rows, so it's going to be instead of uh, basically three. Uh, or five rows of three, we're going to make this seven rows of three, so we're just going to go ahead and extend that seven more back. We're going to go ahead and place down stone top slabs to the sides here of those rows of three, so just like this on both sides like that. And after we have this done, we're going to go to the third from last, so that fifth row right there, we're going to place down a skeleton skull coming off that top slab like so, and then our end rod going up, and then we're going to place that, or replace, yeah, that uh, stone top slab there from anvil. And same thing over here on this side as well, just like that. Like so. We can go and then delete these stone top slabs there between the anvils, as well as, as well as those stone full blocks, these stone top slabs on the bottom here, and stone full blocks like that to go and create a um, five wide space that opens up there from the inside of the aircraft, the ramp. And we then want to go ahead and replace these uh, stone blocks here. So right kind of going off the anvils there, we're going to replace that row, or delete that row of stone top slabs as well, or sorry, stone full blocks. And then this row of top slabs, we're going to delete the ones on the sides there like so, and we're going to go ahead and replace those with iron trap doors, so it should look like this here on the back there of the aircraft. And that right there will basically have that ramp kind of raised up slightly, or just very slightly open. At this point, uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves uh, some gray concrete, and we're also going to be going ahead and using some pistons. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, of gray concrete, one, two, three. And for me, I like to use pistons. You can also use... Um, dispensers too if you want to that's also an option uh, probably better for those you have on pocket edition or bedrock uh, but dispensers will work here also so uh, you can use those but for me I'm going to use pistons as I like the design of them a little bit better and you'll see why here shortly we're going to go ahead and basically do five of these uh, sets so we have that first set there and we're going to basically replicate the same design going all the way to the side here like so and we're going to go ahead and basically create this missile system here so pretty straightforward stuff and is this going to be anvils on, or the pistons on both sides there, and we have this last row, like so. Now, uh, same thing will be done obviously on the back side there, uh, but we can go and use our give command, give ourselves a debug stick, and again on Java, we'll go ahead and use the technique of extending the uh, piston so we get that cool design there on the back, which really works well for this missile pod. Obviously, the ones on the inside, you're going to want to do the same thing. Uh, we can't really get to them here from this uh, spot, so you need to break a hole in there. 
to uh, get on the inside there to make that missile system but that really is about it for that system on the back here and that uh, right there will basically conclude all of our weaponry for the uh, aircraft and um, yeah that's pretty much it for that let's uh, go ahead and move on to the one last thing I want to talk about the landing gear the last thing I want to talk about for this build is if you went ahead and did the landing gear. Now for the landing gear here, you can see that we didn't change the wheels at all. We just went ahead and changed these doors. So obviously this being on the bottom here, we went ahead and used the stone that we used for the coloring for the bottom there of the uh, fuselage. So you can see all those stone stairs, slabs, and stuff like that changed over to stone. Also, we went ahead and changed a little bit to do on the doors that open up to expose the side gear. And you can see here what I did here is used iron trap doors on the bottom of those stones. You can also use birchwood trap doors as an alternative. If you do have access to a debug stick and are able to make those iron trap doors like that, um, birchwood trap doors will work fine as well. And then I used a banner design here um, on the sides, which you'll see is basically um, that... Uh, gray banner so we have gray on top and light gray on the bottom they're split in half and a combination of also using some light gray banners and this is to kind of help show that camouflage pattern um that kind of slope uh wavy pattern that we we're trying to go for and um you can take a look at the other side here and kind of see that again kind of an action there you can see kind of a wave pattern there to kind of help show that on the side of the aircraft and i think it actually works out really well um for what we were trying to accomplish with that but that really is about it for the landing gear and with that that's going to pretty much conclude uh my tutorial here uh, for this uh, aircraft for the AC-130J um, and everything like that. Hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do want to use this build, I do ask you guys to give me proper credit for it. It's me thinking from a side of the build to my channel or this video. If this does appear on social media sites, as long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're freezer for our projects you guys are working on. And that again, the big special links to Patreon supporter Ghost of Tsushima for making this tutorial possible. And as always, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions. With that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is me here, 204, and I'll see you guys next time.